Welcome, welcome back. So let's talk about electricity this time. I promised it and it would happen. And before we jump into uh, the actual tutorial, um, I just wanted to mention that um, I am preparing a couple more and um, probably the next one is going to be around uh, the suits, the extra suits. And um, um, maybe the other one is going to, uh, to be about uh, stress management. Uh, which is also an important part, uh, especially when you are, you know, in your in your late game. But uh, this time, I wanted to um, examine a power management management and how to create your own uh, grid, power grid. And uh, I used to have a lot of trouble when I was uh, first playing the game and I was learning its uh, um, core um, ways of doing things. Um, and um, the trouble I had is that many of my circuits were getting overloaded. So obviously, as uh, pretty much most of the new players would be doing, um, I was using this uh, line here. And the problem with uh, the standard wire is that it allows a max power of uh, 1000 watts, as you see here, right? So this means that if you have machines that draw more than that, more than 1000 watts, uh, inside your, your grid, anywhere inside your grid, uh, the um, you know the lines that uh, are trying to hold this amount of power will uh, you know will, will overload, and they will fail, and your duplicants will have to go and fix them and waste resources. But the most important thing is that your buildings will go down, uh, your power won't be working in those in those buildings for a while, and that can cause a lot of trouble with your food, um, with your and any anything oxygen pumps pretty much anything, so. For example, if you see here some fridges, for instance, if uh, if this line would hold more than a thousand watts, um, it would uh, over, or the circuit would overload, and uh, you know the circuitry would start breaking here. And um, I, the way that uh, oxygen not included has uh, has ways to work around that is actually really cool. I really like it, and it's enjoyable to actually learn uh, how it works. And the way it works is that it uses a power transformer. So what is this thing? So a power transformer has a, an input and an output, as you, you will see here. The big thing, the big thing here, uh, the big power line, let's say, uh, sig signals the um, the place where you should be inputting power that's more than a thousand watts. Uh, so, for example, whatever comes out from your, uh, you know, from your coal uh, generators or from your natural gas generators or whatever petroleum generators and all that. So actually, petroleum generators are a little bit different, and so we're going to have uh, probably a separate uh, tutorial for this. But uh, in this case, let's say coal generators and natural generators. Um, and um, so, yeah, as you see here, the way to remember it is sort of like two hands here, one big hand and one small hand. This signals, you know, the, the big power, and this signals the small power, the thousand watts power. And the way you do this, this is you make multiple of those things, a few of those things. And um, as you will see here, uh, I draw power, and it's a little bit weird the way I'm doing it because I use power here and there. It's a, it's a little bit complicated, but uh, it really is, isn't that difficult. I'm using a little bit, a few a few bridges here, but uh, actually let me go to, over this area, which is easier. As you see, I have two here. That's my my core base, and obviously things start inside my core base, and they're getting moved uh, out uh, uh, really quickly. So. As you see here, um, two lines, one here and one here, and each one of those supports a thousand watts in power. So you see I have my fridges here and a little bit of excess power that they can use if needed. And um, I have some massage tables and the research stations which I practically don't even need now. My cooking stuff and um, a couple of like some oxygen generation here which I'm not even using. But still that amounts to less than a thousand watts. And the same, the same thing happens with uh, my machines here. It's like the power overlay. Pretty much everything is um, is less than a thousand here. I have divided up my sections to less than a thousand, and each thousand section, each the section that requires a thousand watts, actually uses a separate uh, transformer, as you see here, right? One here, one here. This is actually this area here. Uh, this is the uh, the suits area, just for the suits because they draw a lot of power. And this is for some of the things in here. So everything is divided in uh, you know in particles let's say in pieces of a uh, thousand watts that's the idea and if you need if you if you actually overflow one if you actually are close to a thousand you just make a, a new one and you put it on, on the grid 
when you connect the new uh, machines. Super, super important. And the thing is, uh, it's a good idea, and that's why I like to go about it, to have everything on horizontally in one, uh, in one floor. And um, as you see, I have here, I didn't open this area here just because I have the chlorine. I want to handle it a little bit differently. And I have already have a little bit of chlorine here, so I didn't want to like just open it. I didn't, I didn't really mean to. Uh, but this has uh, some, you know, some uh, repercussions also. So the thing is here, uh, these machines have to be using the heavy watt, wa heavy watt wire because they draw more than a thousand watts. And so that's fine, but the problem with this thing is that it has a, a very, very bad decor effect. So as you see here, Everything is red here in terms of the core. And that, uh, that affects the stress of the duplicates. Yeah, obviously they don't pass through here a lot, but uh, they still pass sometimes. And um, the way I have my, my ba base organized at the moment, they still pass sometimes. Later on, I, I want to open up this area and completely close this floor so that it's not accessible to uh, the duplicates at all, who have like locked doors and all that. So you see you know, here, for example, a duplicate passes and is affected by the decoration. That's not ideal, but it doesn't really affect me so much because, as you see, my stress here is pretty much perfect. So I don't really care about that at the moment. Uh, but it's something that I would care for in the in the future, because uh, you know things things can go uh, south at some points, and it's nice to be you know having proper ways of handling things for everything. And so I have I have some batteries here, as you see, right on the same floor again, and I, and also. And that's super important. I probably, I probably should add a couple more, I guess, because uh, I have seen that they get full pretty quickly. So as you see here, I also have a smart battery here, and I have a, another smart battery here. So what does this do? This is extremely important, really, really important. So let's let's take a look at the coal generators. So this thing here, the smart battery, is connected with automation wire, as you see here, with the coal generators. And uh, this smart battery is connected with the natural gas generators. And what does this do? So you see here that it goes up as long as we generate power, and this starts going up here. And we are saying that we want our gas our natural gas generators here, which are connected to the power grid, the automation grid, sorry. Uh, we want them to stand by when power reaches 80%. So when 80% of the batteries are charged. So as you see here, it will soon reach 80%, and the machines will actually stop working. And they will come back uh, being active when the you know the batteries, the batteries of our grid, uh, which are connected to our grid, um, become less than 20% charged. You see here, they stopped. So this is not 100% uh, full, but they stopped. So it will start going down now. And w once it reaches 20%, they will continue working. And same with the coal generators here. This is this is super great because it it saves you resources. It saves you it saves you coal especially, and also saves you nat saves you natural gas. I mean, what's the point of spending it if you're not really using it? Because batteries are actually uh, getting uncharged also as time passes. So the normal batteries and the smart batteries too. Uh, smart, smart batteries faster also draining power. So you see that loses charge over time, right? So what's the point of you know having your generators active if you're not actually using the power? So that's why you're using a smart battery to you know to automate uh, that process so that you are not actually storing. Um, more than uh, more than required, and you can also use it as a quick way to see how much uh, power you have at, a, at a specific moment in your base, and you can ad adapt your batteries, like have more or have less, whatever. So that's the core ideas behind uh, power management. It's really simple. It can be a little bit messy with the wires. That's the only bad thing about it. But uh, I really enjoy personally the way they have done it. Um, I really really like it, and. Um, uh, that's that's you know if you, if you make it uh, if you make a setup a similar setup, I I can you know I can assure you you won't be having trouble with uh, with uh, power it will be everything will be fine. That's it for this tutorial. As I mentioned, uh, I want to keep those short and to the point because uh, I'm trying to help you here and uh, you know pass some of the ideas of the game and some of the core concepts of how to make uh, to make it easier for you to play the game. So hopefully that helps you. Try to make your base like this and to do it proactively. And um, the last thing that uh, is a good idea to have in mind is you don't want this to have to be too close to your base because you can uh, hit some of the plants here. You see some hit plants here, but that's that's actually a different issue. And it's good to know that I didn't notice initially. I'm passing some uh, water here, which is 40 Celsius, and go, it goes here. So I'm now creating a you know I'm trying to pass it through through this area here so that I avoid this hit. 
and uh, it's nice the way the game actually gives you information about things happening. You can you can fix your you know your uh, your problems quite quickly, and you you can be making mistakes. I mean, I could also uh, cool that water, but um, you know, there's not there's no point really. I mean, it just goes over here. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching, uh, and if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it uh, and subscribe because uh, the next ones are going to be about, as I mentioned, stress management and um, the super awesome exosuits, which I absolutely love. And we'll see what comes up next. If you have any ideas, if you want to to you know to hear me say describing some of the specific things about the game, if you want to ask about something, let me know, and I will create a tutorial for it because, um, as I mentioned, I'm looking to create a series. A lot of series, a big series of uh, you know um, tutorials around the game because I really really enjoy enjoy playing it. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.